Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to do a very interesting exercise. Again, we're going to prove an identity that the sine of a plus b minus the sine a minus b is equal to 2 times the cosine of a times the sine of b. And this is a precursor to a double angle formula which we'll see very soon in one of the upcoming videos. But let's first see that we can take care of this first and that way we'll, it'll help us understand what we're going to see later on. So what we're going to do here is simply expand this. We know what the sine of a sum of two angles and the sine of the difference of two angles is equal to. So let's write this as the sine of a times the cosine of b plus the cosine of a times the sine of b minus, and uh, let me put parentheses here or brackets there, that would be the sine of a times the cosine of b minus the cosine of a times the sine of b and that would then be equal to 2 times, well, let's find out what it's equal to. We don't know yet, so we'll figure it out. So we'll just put the equal sign over there. All right, now let's simplify things a little bit. We're going to apply the negative sign and get rid of the brackets. So this would be equal to the sine of a times the cosine of b plus the cosine of a times the sine of b minus the sine of a times the cosine of b plus the cosine of a times the sine of b. Now to have all the signs correct, let's see if anything simplifies. So we have a cosine a sine b. Okay, how about a sine a cosine b? Sine a cosine b. Here that's positive, that's negative. So this here cancels out with that. So we have this left and we have that left. And notice cosine a sine b, cosine a sine b, they're exactly the same. We can add them. And so therefore this is equal to 2 times the cosine of a times the sine of b which is what we had over there. So that proves that. Now the, where we're going with this is what if we had a plus b, or instead of a plus b, a plus a, or the sine of twice the angle a. And that's what the double angle formula is all about. So that's the precursor to that which is coming. But now at this point, we're satisfied with knowing that this is equal to that. 